How early can you access your retirement funds? I'm JT with Plan Your Federal Retirement. Knowing exactly when you can access your retirement funds is critical in planning for retirement. Many people are familiar with the general rule of you can't access your retirement funds until age 59 and a half or later, but the truth is it's far more complicated than that. It depends on the type of account and there's lots of exceptions to the rule. One of the exceptions to the rule is the rule of 55. The rule of 55 says that if you meet the qualifications, you can access your retirement funds as early as age 55. To qualify for the rule of 55, there's three requirements. The first one is that you can access your funds in the calendar year that you turn age 55. The second one is that you have to separate from your employer when you're 55 or later. The third one is that you have to leave your retirement account with the employer. So let's talk about three really common types of accounts that we see with federal employees. The first one is an IRA. IRAs don't qualify for the rule of 55. The second one we might see is a 401k. Sometimes federal employees will, will work in the private sector, have a 401k, and then come into be a federal employee where they have a TSP. The 401k sometimes qualifies, uh, but it depends on the employer. So this is something that you'll need to look into. The other qualification is that you need to be currently employed with that employer and then leave that employer at age 55. So the 401k is a big maybe. You'll need to look into it, check with your employer, and then make sure that you meet the qualifications. The third type of account is the TSP. The great thing about the TSP is that we know that it qualifies for the rule of 55 as long as you meet the qualifications. So if you're a federal employee and you've reached over age 55 and you separate from service, you're able to access those funds as early as age 55. Now, because you can't access IRA money until age 59 and a half, there's some strategies where we can take from the TSP or take from the qualifying 401k, take income from those accounts until you reach age 59 and a half, then switch to the IRA. Another strategy could be transferring your IRA money into the TSP just to bridge that gap until you're eligible to draw from all retirement accounts. Now there's another rule called the rule of 50. This applies only to special provision employees. So that's your firefighters, law enforcement officers, and air traffic controllers. Special provisions can access their accounts as early as age 50. Again, as long as they meet the qualifications, they need to separate from service at age 50 or later, and you'll need to leave the TSP where it is. So one strategy again, draw from the TSP until age 59 and a half, then at that time you can consider an IRA transfer if that's what you decide to do. As for the tax considerations, any withdrawal that you take out is still taxable as ordinary income. If you're special provisions and you take out at age 50, or if you meet the qualifications for the rule of 55 and you draw as early as age 55, it's still the same, it's still taxable as ordinary income. The only difference is that you get out of the 10% tax penalty. So just be aware that any withdrawals are still gonna be taxable. Knowing when you can access your retirement funds is critical in planning for retirement. Again, this is just one tool in creating your retirement plan. We love working with federal employees and helping them coordinate their sources of income in retirement. If you'd like some help with your plan, click below to schedule an appointment. Until next time, happy planning.